Hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi and with me is Dr. Mandal who got ranked 84 in the INICT exam and the icing on the cake is it's, this is his first attempt. He is from 2019 batch. So, Chura Jyoti, many, many congratulations. Thanks a lot, sir. It's a pleasure to be talking with you today. The pleasure is all mine, my dear. So, Chura Jyoti, uh, you uh, passed the exam or you cracked the exam in your very first attempt. And, yes, sir. Uh, you are from Ames Delhi and we all know that Ames Delhi has a hectic internship. So, so I want to understand how did you utilize the limited time available? But before that, I want to you know go back a bit and I want to ask about final year. Yes, sir. Uh, final year, there's always this confusion whether to study for the prof exam, whether to focus on the entrance exam, whether to read the books, whether to go for the apps, whether to watch videos. So what was your approach towards your final year? Uh, sir, I was clear in my mind that I wanted to rank at the end of my internship year. So, okay. I mean, in the final year itself, I when I was studying the final year subjects, mm -hmm. I was preparing my notes in such a way so that I could use them in my internship year for my interests as well. And okay. in that process, uh, the preparation for final year was also getting completed because most of the topics that are being asked are usually from the same. Right. So uh, I was not focused more on videos. I was mm -hmm. focused more on notes. Okay. And whatever notes I met and whatever notes I had, I used to revise them again and again. So number of revisions are, is something that actually helped me a lot uh, in the long run. And for QBank's uh, strategy I used to follow was that after I read the notes, I used to do the QBank's in an interval of like seven or eight days. So okay. in that way, it helped me in, for like spaced revision. And also mm -hmm. at the same time to see how much I was retaining. And if something was missing from my memory, mm -hmm. like I could revise that seven or eight days later. So that was the strategy I was following. So nice. I mean, so this is this is a lesson for many students that, you know, again, we keep on saying that there are multiple ways of reaching the same destination. Like your preparation was not so much focused on the videos, but more on the notes. So so that is another thing that can be done. So now let's talk about the internship. You use the main notes and you, uh, I think, I, I'm sure you added something on those. And Sorry. you did the bank and I'm sure the extra material you must have added. So now we enter the internship and lesser time and the exam is near. So... Yes, Internship, uh, what was your strategy, first of all, regarding the main content? I mean, the, the yes. conceptual, uh, how did you go about it? Did you read notes again or did you watch videos? And then how uh, did you construct it? How did you integrate BTR with uh, the notes? All, all those things I would like to know. So, uh, like my strategy was in the internship here, I use mostly notes. So, mm. the notes of the main subjects, I finished the reading of them by the month of April or May. And when I was doing it, after finishing a subject, I was watching the videos for the BTR, the BTR and the bonus BTR of both of them. Mm -hmm. And the PYQs, I used to annotate whatever was not there in BTR and bonus BTR, only that much portion in that notes. Because but I but wanted time, to... I'm sorry, but this time, were these main notes or were these uh, quick revision repetitive on, notes? On the, BT, on the BTR notes, whatever BTR the PYQ notes. topics were there. So okay. I wanted to use BTR and bonus BTR notes alongside PYQs as a resource I could revise like 10 or 12 days before my IMP. Right. So I didn't want the quantity to bulk up, a, bulk up a lot so it would be difficult revising. So my main notes were separate and BTR and bonus BTR which was integrated with PYQs. So I kept both of those separate. So we had a set of uh, maybe bulkier notes and a set of concise notes. Concise yes, notes we read multiple times. Yes sir, yes sir. Wonderful. And uh, you also heavily used the uh, late night PYQ marathons, you were telling me. Yes, so sir. How did you use them and how did you, uh, whatever new information that you found, did you add those to BTR? Yes, sir. I added those. Okay. Uh, it was a really useful tool. Actually, I did about uh, 60 to 65 and I was fairly consistent in that. Okay. So like, uh, because I was doing it daily just before going to sleep, it wasn't like adding up to my burden a lot. And also the topics kept getting revisited and revised. So like at 60 questions per day, if someone can do like 50 or 60 modules, it's like 3,000 to 3,600 questions. That almost like takes care of the last uh, five years paper and more even. So now that, that was really it, Jyoti, Now that you are saying it, I can now recall that the, in the rankers list, your name was almost always there. Yes, so I was uh, mostly yeah. there in the top 10. Yeah, now, now, now I can recall. I would always see Shubhra Yoti sometimes second, sometimes first, yes, sometimes. Sir. Yeah, okay. So you are that person. Nice yes, to sir. Know. 
All right. So, uh, so whatever extra information you got from the late night PYQ and uh, the explanation and all, you yes, added sir. that ETR yes, the main sir. book you had. Okay. Yes, and and uh, what was your approach towards the GTS? So GTS mostly like uh, when I started giving it in the month of like January, uh, mm -hmm. my baseline was like one fifty to one fifty five. Correct. So okay. I. Uh, I was trying to get it up to like 160 or 170 corrects before my exam. Mm -hmm. So I got a plateau around 150 to 155 correct. I got stuck there for like six or seven months. Mm -hmm. And then after I completed my first revision, then only it like got up to like 165 to 170 correct. So. Got it. So Shrojit, you were always also telling me that for certain subjects, you did watch the, I think, mission lectures or the main videos. Uh, what was it? Yes, I read the notes okay. and, uh, for orthopedics because that was a weak subject of mine. Uh, mm -hmm. I watched the videos. Videos. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So, uh, what I understand, Shrojit, is that uh, in the final year itself, you had made a decent base. Conceptual framework yes, was wrong. And then in the limited internship time, you decided to use, you know, more. Uh, what about the ENDs? Did you appear for ENDs? Uh, yes, sir. I used to, I mean, solve the ENDs. Uh -huh. And uh, whatever the questions I used to get, like, wrong, if mm. I had a conceptual difficulty in that, I would just skip to that part where that question was being explained and I would just see that. Okay. But it solved all the questions. But you could not uh, watch the entire video explanation. Yes, I did not have the time to, like, watch the video. So so and so 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 if I if I have to summarize it in the final year use main notes to create a stronger base and then in internship focus on PYQs you had focus on you did many ENDs but did not watch the entire video explanation you use yes, BTR sir. bonus BTR a lot and yes, then you try to you know add everything in the same book so that you could revise it again and again yes sir wonderful did you appear for NEET PG exam also well, no sir I was not eligible actually. So this was the first exam that you appeared for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. So, so would you be picking up a seat with this rank? And are you getting the branch of your choice? Uh, so I'm. I am really hopeful that I get a branch of my choice. I'll be looking for medicine or pediatrics. Okay. Uh, if I, I am hopeful by seeing the last the trends of the last few years that I would get a seat. If mm. not, then I would be preparing for a next term. But I really don't want to. I want to get a seat <laughs> this time. As this time only. 84 is a beautiful rank, Shivra Jyoti. And the way the competition is, things are very uncertain, right? Yes, so, sir. So I think, I think if you are getting a good seat, a seat of your choice, you should definitely pick. And yes, uh, otherwise, we would get to see your name again in the late night PYP marathon list and uh, GTs. But I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> yes. Wonderful, Dr. Mandal. So any, any last minute advice for your juniors who are starting with their internship or who are starting with their preparation? Also, the only thing you want to say is like when they're starting at least like one year or two years prior, it's very important to have that goal in mind. They mm -hmm. want to crack it in that attempt and okay. to make a strategy and try to like stick to that strategy. My strategy mm -hmm. was mostly like I wanted to have a set of notes that had all the important things that I could revise in the last 10 or 12 days. So I was focused more on that than on the main exam. So that right. worked out really well for me. So I think and, that is hmm. a good thing to do. Very well said. And and any any comments on uh, Cerebellum Academy and the different programs that they are running? What 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 is helping students? What should we do more? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, course? like uh, to be very honest, like Cerebellum Academy, the radical approach uh, that you have taken, especially the BTR, it has hmm. like boosted my rank up a lot. And the late night PYQ marathon, that is a great concept. I mean. Right. Uh, just like without even your knowledge mm -hmm. so much PYQs come getting revisited over and over again and you can cover so much of topics and mm -hmm. it doesn't even add up to your burden and the way the course has been structured it's a great thing to like even start your preparation with Cerebellum or whether you are using it as a revision tool both mm -hmm. uh, the facets of your preparation are served really well by it so I mean I have used it extensively over this one year and it has really helped me a lot. Thank you, Shwajyoti. Thank you. So wonderful. It was nice talking to you, Shwajyoti. My best wishes. And I hope you get the branch of your choice. May God bless you. Thank you, sir.